Hey man, are you tired of recording on that $20 USB microphone? Are your only studio monitors your laptop speakers? Is your idea of acoustic treatment recording with a blanket over your head? <laughs> okay, maybe you're not that bad, but I've got five studio upgrades that will upgrade your sound. What's up YouTube family? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. This channel is all about helping you to become a better engineer, a better artist, a better producer, and make the world a better sounding place, all right? Today's video, we're gonna be talking about five studio upgrades. Five? Ten? Five studio upgrades that will help to get you an upgraded sound from what you started with, man. We all had to start somewhere, man. Every mic, everybody has a first mic. Your first mic, I guarantee, wasn't a C800, all right? Uh, but as you grow and build your skill and clientele and you start to hone in on the types of things that you need to do in the studio, your needs will change. And so your gear needs to change and grow with you. So these five things that I'm going to list off today are going to be some things to take you from a basic studio setup to a more intermediate, more advanced studio setup. So if you're ready to upgrade your sound, let's go ahead and jump into the first thing, number one. One of the first things that I'm gonna put on this list is gonna be monitor stands, okay? Uh, monitor stands are very important. A couple of reasons why, A, because monitor placement is very important. If you are only restricted to where you can sit your monitors on your studio desk, or maybe it's not even a studio desk, maybe it's a table or whatever, right? Who knows what you're using? If you're only restricted to where you can move your monitors on there, you may not be able to get optimal placement, right? Remember that when we are working with studio monitors, the best placement is to have an equilateral triangle. And it's also important to make sure that the tweeters of those monitors are right at about your ear height. The tweeter should be about ear height. Studio monitors offer you the ability to be able to raise and lower, to change and angle, and move those uh, monitors all around your studio wherever they need to be. Obviously not all around the studio, but you know what I mean. They allow you to get the exact placement that you need for the ideal listening environment. Another thing is that having the studio, having the monitors off of your desk actually allows them to be decoupled from the desk, which also will improve the sound of those monitors, okay? Um, by moving them off of the desk, you don't get all those vibrations that will vibrate the speaker cabinet and it starts vibrating the desk and then it changes what you're actually hearing. So by decoupling the studio monitor from your actual desk or workstation, whatever it is, it will improve the sound right away. Also, just minimizing those vibrations. If you have them on studio monitors, you can like fill them with sand or just get like some cinder blocks or something like that. Super heavy, that's not gonna cause a lot of vibration and sit the monitors there. That way all that vibration is absorbed and it doesn't start rumbling stuff in your room and into the mix. If you look at on what I have right now, I'm actually using some Oralex Mopads. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. Right? So my A7X is for optimal position for me, I don't want to actually take these off and put them on studio monitors. My desk is large enough and it actually has this bridge, but I still want to decouple the monitors from the desk, which is why I'm using the uh, Oralex Mopad. In the past, I've also used the Isoacoustics Isopods. Those work great too. So if you are um, using your studio monitors on the desk, think about a solution like the Oralex Mopads, the Isopods. There's a few other things out there there are a few other products to help decouple the monitors from the desk. Again, it's just gonna stop those vibrations from transferring from your speaker cabinet to your desk. It's gonna give you a better overall sound, a more accurate picture of what is really coming out of the, stu out of the studio monitor. The next thing on my list is gonna be to upgrade your vocal microphone. Yes, you started off with this cheap microphone. You just wasn't sure about, you know, what you were gonna do with recording or whatever. But now it's time to upgrade your microphone. Now there's a bunch of options, endless options. You don't have to go crazy when you are thinking about upgrading your microphone. But if you started off with that $99 microphone, now it's time to invest a little bit more. One mic that I would kind of recommend for a, uh, a vocal 
microphone that's an all-around workhorse and a great one for anyone to have in their closet is gonna be the Aventone CB12. Now that's one of the first mics that I upgraded with and I think that it is an amazing mic. It's only about 500 bucks and compared to other microphones that are much more expensive, but making that investment will automatically level up the production value that you're getting in your studio. So upgrade that microphone, uh, look around for some more high quality vocal mics. There are a ton of them out there. Aventone CB12 is a great one that I would recommend for anybody who's looking to come up from maybe, you know, a, a, a low level microphone that they spent a hundred, couple hundred bucks on, and now you're ready to up that stage. I would try out the Aventone CB12. Two mics are great for vocals, and that is a great one at affordable price, okay? So upgrade your vocal microphone. It doesn't have to be that one, but look into upgrading, all right? The next thing that you need to upgrade after you upgrade in your mic is going to be your studio monitors. Now, listen, I know that studio monitors can get expensive, but now it's time is the time to think about are you really getting the accurate picture of what you are creating inside your DAW? Studio monitors are so crucial. They are the link between what's on that screen and what you're hearing, okay? So if your monitors aren't telling you the truth because they're not using the best components, you know, you started off with a little cheaper monitor, it's cool. Now it's time to upgrade and you can still use those other cheaper monitors as a secondary source i've done it for years with my krks i'm doing it now with my hs5s so i'm using my older cheaper monitor as my secondary monitor source um to my a7x's now yes i would absolutely recommend that you upgrade to the atom a7x studio monitors there are other monitors out there but for me and my experience what i've realized is that these are the most accurate um, true monitor that you can get at this price point that I've experienced. Um, they're great to work with. The high end is accurate. It's silky. It's not going to be too fatiguing. The low end is punchy. And, and while we on there, make sure that you also have a subwoofer or two. Okay. For more information about the two subwoofers, the dual subwoofers and how I like to set them up, join the Wavy Seals Elite. That's where I talk about that stuff at. Um, I got everybody in the Wavy Seals Elite on the dual subwoofer lifestyle. And I guarantee you it will change your life. Okay. So upgrade your studio monitors. Get a subwoofer if you don't have one. And if you got one, get another one. And that will upgrade your whole monitoring situation. I guarantee you um, that having more accurate monitoring will yield you better results with your mixes. Okay, You'll be able to trust those monitors a lot more and be more confident when you go out to do that car test. And then you'll start realizing, damn. I don't even need to do the car test. These Every time I go out to the car, it sounds exactly like what I'm already hearing in the studio, okay? So um, upgrade your studio monitors as soon as you can and go up to that next level. Spending about uh, 1000 to $2,000 on those monitors um, is going to be expected. And again, I would definitely recommend the Atom A7Xs. If you can't afford it right now, just go ahead and save up and, uh, and get your hands on a pair. And while we talking about studio monitors, the studio monitors aren't going to be anything if they're in a boomy, boxy, rumbly, reflective room. So the next thing that y'all need to make sure you upgrade is the acoustic treatment. All right. Now, I would say to spend about as much time and thought on your hand money on your acoustic treatment as you do the actual studio monitors. So if you go out and spend a thousand dollars on some studio monitors and then you got a thirty dollar piece of acoustic treatment hanging up, you're not doing those monitors justice. You need to take time and thought to make sure that the frequencies are not just bouncing all over in your room and that what you are monitoring is actually what's coming out of the speaker. Now, I'm not going to get too deep into acoustic treatment on this video, but yes, you watch some videos, learn about acoustically treating your room and treat that environment so that um, you're not just hearing all the early reflections and all of this kind of stuff that you can get by having a poorly treated room, okay? Upgrading your acoustic treatment in your studio is gonna be crucial. You can do this by getting some Orlex and hanging up on the wall. It don't have to be crazy, right? You got the Orlex pads that you can get. You can also build your own acoustic treatment, which I prefer to do. I use uh, some little like, uh, some wood frames and Owens Corning 703. You can also use Roxel Safe and Sound. All of those are great options to build in your own acoustic treatment or panels. I even use some diffusers in my studio, but you need to have your studio space acoustically treated. 
in order to get the best out of the monitors and also even while you're recording right if you're recording in a room that's very reverberant you're going to be getting a lot of unwanted uh room noise and unwanted ambient noise getting into that microphone so having a great uh, treated space is going to automatically improve the quality of your productions for this last thing that i'm going to talk about i'm gonna actually reach over here and show you Take it back, okay? Take it back to the old school fundamentals. Get you a Sony boombox. Actually, this one right here. I don't even know the model number. I'm gonna put this, a link to this in the description. But this Sony boombox has helped me so much in making sure that my mixes will translate no matter where you are. Um, I've started and finished mixes just by listening to it on this boombox. I've uh, even started on the, uh, you know, listen to the A7Xs, and then I'll toss it over to the boombox and hear things that the A7Xs that are a, a, a more, a better pair of studio monitors just won't pick up. Like any problems in the low mids become so apparently obvious when you're listening on a small set of speakers like this. So using something like this in your studio, and matter of fact, I would just say that get Get this one it's only about a hundred bucks man so I would say get this use this as your alternate studio monitor source and this will even though it look like a downgrade it's really an upgrade that you cannot live without in your studio I got like five of them in my closet right now just in case Sony stop making them or they sell out or whatever I need this joint on deck <laughs> All right, family, that's a list of my top five studio upgrades that you can do right now to improve the quality of your productions. If you like this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. And if you have any ideas or tips or that, that you could use to upgrade or share with other people that they can upgrade their studio, make sure you leave them in the comment below. Let this be a thread for everybody to continue to learn from, all right? I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. Make sure you check out the website if you need any professional mixing services or if you just want to grab one of my custom recording and mixing templates to help you get started and improve your sound immediately, all right? Thanks for watching this video. Be dope.